Hey everybody, Brad Ween, and it's been a long time, and it's good to see y'all again. Uh, I took a little break from the YouTube community, and now I'm back, and what way to kick it off again with another pickups video. So, let's get right down to it. First pickup is TVD slash DVD series, and House Season 7. I finally got my house fix, and uh, I love it. I got a big man crush on uh, Hugh Laurie. Um, I did a little trade with my brother, and uh, I had the PS3 version, he had the 360 version, so I said, you want to trade? And he said, well, all right. So, anyways, that is Grand Theft Auto 4. Picked up Halo 3 ODST. I picked up Skyrim, which is uber addictive. Picked up Call of Duty 2 which was surprisingly very hard to find in my area. And my favorite Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4. I think I'm only missing Call of Duty 3 and Modern Warfare 3, so I'll be on the hunt for that. Alice, The Madness Returns. Great thing about this game, if you bought it brand new, you got a, a redeem code to the original American McGee's Alice. But... Let's just say the Xbox 360 controls aren't kind to that version, but it's still good. Ninja Gaiden 2. And last, Saints Row the Third. This game is a riot. I highly recommend you guys picking it up if you want a game that's over the top and doesn't take itself too seriously. Next, I got a couple of Nintendo Wii games. Metroid Other M and Punch Out. Now we'll start behind this one. I was very lucky to get this cover because now with an, it's a Nintendo Select and they have that god awful border around it, right? And they also make the disc uh, like a clear color. And I got the original disc. But anyways, what I'm trying to get at is that I went to my local store and they had their own section for. Um, Nintendo Select games, and so I sold Punch Out, and I really wanted Punch Out. But I didn't want to pay full retail price for it when it came out for fifty nine ninety nine, and then I saw this cover, and it was marked down from nineteen ninety nine. I grabbed it, put it in my basket, and never looked back. It was like the I think there was one more copy that had the original cover on it, and I'm just freaking lucky that I was able to get it, the original cover, and <clears throat> for that for the price. Now I got. A trio of PS3 games. First up, Castlevania Lords of Shadow. They dropped the whole Metroidvania thing and started to do with a new little feature, kind of a uh, esque ripoff of mm, like God of War games um, and Shadow of the Colossus when you have these awesome boss battles. But it's it's good, you know. They don't overdo it and great um, great level of design too. Batman Arkham City. I haven't got too far into that. And last but not least for the PS3, Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Now I have all the uh, Street Fighter 4s for the PS3, unless they make a Super Duper Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition Advance Max. And then I'll pick it up. Now the last thing I got from Cloud Nintendo, I never thought of it ever doing this, was collecting those stupid points, because I never know, you know, what kind of reward you got, but I cashed it all in and I was able to get the the game watch ball. It was like 1200 points, and I had just enough doing all their surveys. And let's just say it was well worth it. I have it actually right here, it's kind of neat, kind of small. It's neat, still has the uh, the battery tag in it, but. I don't think I'm ever going to pull it out. I think it's just going to be something I'm going to put on the shelf, you know, and display it in my display case back there. But, uh, yeah, it's really neat. And who knows, maybe I'll eventually give in and try this puppy out. It says on the back, you're holding in your hands the game of the future. At least that's what they called it 30 years ago. So, you know, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, um, my boy thinks... Is the 
greatest thing ever. He thinks it's the coolest thing. When I told him it was a Game & Watch, he thought it was a watch. He's like, you got this watch and you can play games on it? He's telling all his friends, like, no, 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 Xander, it's, it's just a little game. They call it the Game & Watch. And he's like, oh. I don't know, it's kind of cute. But anyways, you know, it's good to be back. I'm going to be posting more videos now that I'm back and um, keep my channel alive, keep, the, keep it flowing, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the future. Take care.